All right. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up and Makeup chat, four hours of sleep edition. <laughs> so uh, it was another rough night last night with What's Up and Makeup, but we did it. It was up on time, so I'm happy and all is good. I've got my coffee, real coffee, in the cup. And uh, we're going to chat today about some makeup. I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to show you. I feel like I'm acting a little off today. I'm just feeling like not myself today. I'm going like, so uh, yeah, we got some stuff over here and uh, I want to show you what that stuff is. You know, I'm just, I don't know what's going on with me today, but I do have a lot of stuff that I want to show you. Uh, it's stuff that I've gotten recently from orders, from friends sending them to me, things like that. And I want to get your opinions on this stuff and I want to know from you all what you are interested in seeing on the channel because at this point I kind of have a little bit of an overload and I want to I wanna review like most of this stuff but I don't know if I'm going to be able to review all of it so that's why I, I really want to show it to you and I also want to get kind of your opinions if you've tried these products or if you're interested in them or you know just kind of get get my feelers out of the community about these products and also I want to show them to you because they're new in case you want to buy them I can swatch things for you and stuff, give you some idea of uh, the quality of it. I have a lot of things that I've been trying, so I can show you and give you some kind of mini reviews on some of the stuff I've been trying. So hopefully that'll be helpful to you. I don't want this just to be all about me and gathering information for me. I also want to give you some info about some of these products as well. So I've got stuff from Elf, from Wet n Wild, from Revlon, Too Faced, Kat Von D, Smashbox, um, a bunch of different brands over here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, we're going to take a moment to say hello to the collective brain of makeup awesomeness, also known as the people who are here in live chat. If you are here watching this on the replay, thank you so much for being here on the replay. Uh, you can go ahead and be part of the collective brain by leaving your thoughts and comments about this stuff down in the comment section down below. Uh, live chat is at 10 a.m. Eastern Time every Sunday that I can do it. Uh, we are not going to have a chat. We're going to have a chat next week. But the following week, I won't be here. I'm going to be at Generation Beauty in New York. Uh, and then the next week will, should be the 5 p.m. chat. That's the plan. We try to do a 5 p.m. Eastern Time chat. Uh, the last Sunday of the month is the effort made. And this will probably be the last 5 p.m. chat for a while because after this, we have Halloween, we have Thanksgiving, and we have Christmas and Hanukkah and all of that. Um, all of those, uh, the, the holidays, the winter holidays. Uh, so it probably won't be another 5 p.m. chat till January, so I'm going to make a conscious effort to get to 5 p.m. chat uh, this coming month. So let's go ahead and take a second and say hello to the people that are here live. I feel like it's nice to, when you invite someone in your house, to say hello to them. If you are not used to live chat format where I talk to people, I understand some people don't like the way that I go back and forth. I'm really sorry. Uh, this may not be the best video for you, but if you like to learn from other people other than just one person, then this is a great place for you. I promise you it is worth it. My, the people in the collective brain are stinking amazing. They're incredibly intelligent people. They have a lot of knowledge about makeup, and I think that you will benefit from learning from them. So let's start off with AJ. AJ is here, our brand new reporter. She's amazing. She said, good morning from the shores of Lake Michigan. My butch built it, built in time for me to watch... What? Built, oh, she built... <laughs> She, wait, I'm so confused. She built in time for me to watch a live chat when she planned our surprise weekend away. Oh, she built in time for you. You guys are away on your weekend. Oh, that's so nice. That's true love right there. Shay Ann is here. Good morning, my friend. Christina is here. She slept late last night, but made sure she had her alarm on for live chat. Oh, well, I'm happy you're here. Alicia is here. Hello, Alicia. Good to see you again. Mimi is here. Christina is here from Alberta, Canada. Sarah is here for her first live chat. Divinity is here. I'm excited for you to be here as well. Banshee Muse is here. Welcome back, Sarah. Hello to you from Orlando. Stay safe. If you know anybody in the, in the affected areas or if you're in the affected areas, please stay safe. I'm, I'm thinking about you and sending as much positive energy as I can your way. Megan, good morning to you, my friend. Megan is a reporter extraordinaire. She's sticking amazing. Uh, she's one of our Facebook admins. She does a lot of work for What's Been Makeup. She is incredible. My friend Nancy is here. Good morning to you, my friend. Latina and Julio, what's up? Oh, my goodness. Stay safe, Latina and Julio down in Florida. Please stay safe. Um, uh, Shan is asking about Orlando. Mimi said, did anyone go to the Sephora event yesterday? I did. I've got stuff to show you. And speaking of that, 
I'm going to show you right now. What's up, Al and Angel? Good to see you. If I didn't say hello to you this morning, hello to you. Thank you for being here. So uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hold off on the stuff I got the Sephora sale for just a moment. We're going to start with the Elf, uh, the drugstore stuff that I have first, and then we'll work our way up to the Sephora brand product. So uh, first thing I want to show you are these e.l.f. palettes. I haven't tried e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes in a really long time, and I wanted to try them. Um, this one is the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in Berry Please. I have to say, I don't think the quality has improved very much since um, since the last time I bought them. I think it has improved a little bit, do a little bit of swatchy, swatchy. But, like, this shade is so weak. And it's like, I can see somebody picking up this eyeshadow palette and being like, why is my makeup not looking very good? What's going on? It's not you, my friend. It's the palette. I mean, it's just, like, you look in the pan at this purple, and you see this pink come out of it, and it's like, what is going on? So I've used this twice now. Um, I didn't use, I only used it, only used it one time, like, almost alone. I mixed in a little bit, but then I used this kind of, like, accent colors to see if I could use it at all, and it's really not very good. Um, this one is a little bit better, but it's not good either. This one is the Neutral Nudes. And in my opinion, if you, it doesn't matter the price point. If you can't get it to work for you and it's giving you a subpar look, it's not even worth the money, like the $3 or whatever for it, if you can't get a decent look out of it that lasts through the day. Um, there are so many affordable makeup brands that are amazing uh, that you can get at the drugstore and at, um, you know, at more expensive stores, indie brands, things like that. So I definitely don't uh, want to encourage people to invest in products, even if they're inexpensive that don't work. I think that's really important. But this one's a little bit better. Like this shade's, no, never mind. I thought that one was better, but it's not. Yeah, they're just really just powdery. This matte's pretty good. So you can get some good swatches off of it. And I feel like that's pretty representative of my experience on the eye. Um, there's definitely some really good uh, uh, e.l.f. products. These just happen to not be some of them. But I'm not knocking e.l.f. There's definitely some good e.l.f. products out there. I just want to make sure I'm clear on that. Let's see what you guys are saying in the collective brain about these products. Uh, Riley says, I love the Mad for Matte palette. Yes, that is much better, definitely. Um, Divinity says their $10 palettes are not bad. I agree. I think that if you're going to go for an Elf eyeshadow palette, just take, bite the bullet, get the $10 one if you can. Tony says, for me, all I really use from Elf are their brushes and their eyebrow pencil. Yeah, their brushes are really good. Tony, I've never tried their eyebrow pencil. I'll have to check that out. Carrie says, hi, Jen. Finally got to join you for the first time. I was up all night doing homework since uh, Nice Street for me. Oh, Carrie, I was up all night with you, girlfriend. I was up all night with you. <laughs> uh, Banshee Mew says, Elf eyeshadows have never worked for me. Yeah, I did a review. The last one I tried Elf eyeshadows was probably about three years ago, something like that. Um, it was when I actually had a background. You know, like the backgrounds that the people have now where it's like a cloth background, but it wasn't lit and it had like a print on it. Like I was trying I was ahead of my time, though, with one of those backgrounds because I had, like, a really small house. But anyway, it's been that long since I've tried e.l.f. eyeshadows. So I wanted to give another try, and unfortunately, it didn't work out for me. So let's go into the Wet n' Wild stuff. I got some stuff from the Wet n' Wild Mermaid Collection. I just realized I left the lip products over there. Let me put this one down. That one's for later. I got some stuff to say about that product. Okay, got some stuff from the Mermaid Collection. The highlighter is very, very nice. I do have the Wet n' Wild Gold Bar, which is like the unicorn of Wet n' Wild makeup. It's like super hard to find. This reminds me of it. I like the, the Gold Bar just a little bit more. I feel like there's a little bit more consistency to the product where this one I feel like doesn't go on quite as... Like you can kind of... It's not... It's a little... This one's a little more sheer. That's the word I'm looking for. This one's a little bit more sheer, but it's still very nice uh, and it gives a nice glow to the skin. I have to tell you, I swatched yesterday the new Tarte highlighter that's coming out. It's like the Rainforest of the Sea highlighter. And the way it felt really reminded me of this, this Wet n' Wild highlighter. Uh, it did not, it felt super powdery though, like even powderier than this. Like this feels like it's got a little bit of oomph, a little bit of substance to it, you know? Like it's got something holding it together. It's a little creamier where the, the um, Tarte one just seemed like it was super powdery. I was very surprised. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, the only thing is, is it does have a very strong gold shift. So if you don't like a gold shift on your cheeks, you might want to pass on this. Um, if you have a deeper skin tone, this will probably look better on you than it does on someone with a lighter skin tone. It's really just, it's very gold in the shift. So you just have to be prepared for that. You can also use this as an eyeshadow, though. Yeah, AJ says it looks very yellow. It is. 
it is. It's it's very yellow. But if you have a nice warm skin tone, you can probably get away with it. Um, for me, it's it's good. I do like it, and I have worn it, and I have enjoyed it. But you know, Angela agrees with Tony about the eye, about the uh, brow pencils. Uh, eight, mm, Lee says would rather see a real background than a backdrop. Yeah, I don't know. I think that the, that everybody's kind of leaning toward those backdrops. I'm not going to get one. I I like my backgrounds. I I worked hard on this background trying to get it to look nice. And you know, I'm not going to. I feel like I don't know. I just don't want to go with the crowd on that one. Yeah, you know, I don't just want to do it just because. I don't know. It, lo it does look really good. And if I didn't have a background that I liked, I would probably do it. Like if I was at my old house, I'd probably do it. But not at this house. I like my background. It makes me happy. So. Uh, Jen says, uh, sheer is good when you don't want to bling bling. Well, this thing's going to bling bling no matter what you think then. Whatever, whatever you do, this is going to bling bling. <laughs> but it is a little bit more sheer, it is, than the gold bar. No, but I totally see your point completely. Um, Scrappy Cassie says, I use it as eyeshadow, which I think is a great idea, definitely. Nadine says she prefers a homey background as well, and Debbie likes my background. Well, thank you. And Tam says she likes a mix of both. I think it does look beautiful, those backgrounds with the solid color with the light behind it. It looks gorgeous. I totally agree. I kind of have that the kind of thing going for what's the makeup, just a little bit. I have a white wall with a light shining on a white wall, which I like. Um, Mercedes says, Jen, you're so natural. I love it. Well, we're, we're hanging out with friends. You know, we're just chilling. You guys are in my house. We're hanging out. Next thing I wanted to show you, I appreciate it. The next thing I wanted to show you is the Wet n Wild. These are the eyeshadows. Uh, this is the metallic liquid eyeshadow. I have not tried these yet, and I'm excited to. They look amazing. I think these would be definitely for people that really like a darker look. I mean, they didn't have, I don't think they had any lighter ones, where I wish that they had had some lighter ones. Let me swatch both of them. They are a little bit waterier than I expected them to be. They're not like the Steela Glitters, but they're similar. So if you were looking for something like the Steela Glitters in the darker shades, then this may be something you want to look at. The purple one definitely has a black base to it, though, so keep that in mind. Um, Steph says, I'm chuckling at Jen's glasses are like the new ones I just got. Oh, yay, we can be glasses twins. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this, they're, they're, they look like they're nice, but there's definitely, you know, they're going to create a dark look. Sammy says, Jen, you're one of the coolest people ever. Oh, thank you, Steph. Um, Tammy says, uh, as a young woman of 37 years, I have to be careful with highlighters, not trying to emphasize those fine lines. I have to keep my highlight subtle. Oh, Do your thing. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm older than you are, and I like my blingy, bling, bling, bling. But it's whatever makes you comfortable. It's whatever makes you comfortable, whatever makes you happy. Amy says you have great skin. You could do a video on your daily skincare routine. I actually uh, did recently. I talked about my... Um, when I was using the Ordinary, and then in about a month, I'm going to show you all the stuff from Best Damn Beauty that I've been using. Uh, basically, I just use mostly Best Damn Beauty. I have a few other products thrown in that I've been using recently that I want to show you. But thank you. And some of it's genetics, too. Like, my aunt is, like, got the most amazing skin. Like, she's in her 60s, and she looks like she's in her 40s. Like, she's... And my mom looks really great, too. So as far as looking really young, my dad does, too. So I think that... You know, some of it's genetics, and I think some of it is, is taking care of my skin. Julia says I should just keep it natural. I am, girlfriend. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. All right, so I just got these. These are the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Foundation and the Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer. I've used these twice now. Um, so far, I had this break up on me once, but I think it was because I was using the Best Damn Beauty oil, and I don't think it agreed, so I think I'm going to switch over to the Best Damn Beauty Moisturizer. Yeah, the first time I used the oil, the second time I did, I used just the primer. I didn't even moisturize before I used it because I'm trying different things. Um, but it did break up on me with the oil. So if you have oily skin, this might break up on you. I don't know. I have the shade uh, 220 Natural Beige. And then for this one, I got light. This I don't have an opinion on yet. I don't feel like I was paying attention enough. So, you know. Uh, Terry Lynn wants to know what my favorite drugstore mascara is right now. Um, I would say drugstore-wise, I would go, I, I, some of you can probably answer this for me. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. The Essence Lash Princess Mascara is amazing. Jordana Best Lash Extreme is amazing. I also like the L'Oreal Mascaras, the um, the Voluminous Mascara, excuse me, the Voluminous Mascara and the um, the pink one, the Lash Paradise, are also really good. 
Um, we're going to get into mascara in a minute. I'm, I almost can't even hold my tongue because I'm so mad at this. You know what? We're done with, with drugstore stuff. Did anybody else want to say, oh, Megan want to say something about the foundation, and then I'll tell you about the mascara that I am really mad at right now. Um, I hated that foundation. I wore it to a funeral, and it came off from my tears. I had streaks down my face. I looked terrible. Oh, no. So not waterproof. Oh, Kristen Game is in the house. What's up, my friend? I miss Kristen Game. I haven't seen her in years in person, and I want to hug her. I want to hang out with Kristen Game. Um, Chrisanna Swan. Oh, hello, Chrisanna. Chrisanna from Chrisanna Ann Cosmetics. Hello. Good to see you. She's watching it while she gets ready. Chrisanna and I got something cooking as far as, um, you know, on Instagram. On Instagram, we got something cooking. So stay tuned. Um, Jess says the foundation breaks up on her oily skin. Oh, good to know. Mary says, totally agree about having good genes. I'm 49 and my daughter just turned 31. People think we're sisters. My mom doesn't look her age either. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I think that some people, they tout their skincare routine as being like the ultimate and everyone will look like them if they just use the skincare routine when I do think the genetics does play a role in it. And also, you know, how much sun exposure you've had through your life and things like that. I think that makes a big difference. Um, oh, Julie's going to be a Gen Beauty. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet you, Julie. Make sure you and say hi and give me hugs. I want to take pictures with you and stuff. Um... Stephanie wants to know if I've ever met Emily Noel. I have never met her. Kristen is good friends with her, but I have never met her. I would love to one day, though, because she is literally my YouTube idol from the beginning of my channel. Like, ah, I love her. I absolutely adore her. Um, Kristen is one of my YouTube idols, too. She's amazing. She's a fantastic reviewer. If you're not subscribed to Kristen Game, you should go do that. G-E-H-L is her last name. Very thorough. Very, you know, she really tests things and really gets down in the nitty gritty, which I love. All right, let's get into this mascara that I hate. Okay, please, please. For the love, jump in Jehoshaphat's. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I want to find someone that was not sent this that loves this. I'm going to just be just straight out and say that. Oh my gosh. Somebody please tell me that you love this. This is one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried. It smells like chemicals and like white fish. It smells terrible um, and it doesn't work. I love you, Kristen. It doesn't work. It is, the wand is super pokey. It reminds me of that NARS mascara. Was it the NARS Audacious mascara? I think is what it was called. But this, I'm waiting for somebody to tell me that they actually like this. <laughs> I said I knew you were gonna talk about the stinky mascara. Oh my gosh, Nancy. Nancy sent this to me, and I always feel bad when I don't like something that Nancy, told, Nancy sent me, but this is the thing. I can warn you about it. So it's, I think it's totally worth it. It smells terrible. When I first opened it, it was like a waft of horrible smell. Now I can't smell it unless I like get it close to my face, and then I can smell it. Like when I put it here, I can smell it. Felicia says, when is Gen Beauty in New York? Uh, September 23rd, I believe, somewhere in that weekend. It's the um, Saturday, Sunday there. It smells horrible. And the wand does not work. It's very pokey. It doesn't feel like it pokes my eyes, but it remembers me. It re remembers me. It reminds me of, of that NARS mascara that does absolutely nothing. I mean, I have very nothing lashes. I have very, um, you know, like sparse. You know, you know, not a whole lot of lashes. So maybe somebody is. Thank you for September twenty third. Sorry, I'm off topic. Oh, didn't get much sleep. Um, when it goes through the lashes. It definitely colors them, but I feel like it clumps my very few lashes together. If you want to try an Urban Decay mascara that's good, try the Perversion. The Perversion is really, really good. I don't know what this is, but it's stinging terrible. Steph, this is the new Troublemaker mascara. I can't even, like, I'm shocked because I've seen such positive reviews of this, and it bothers me. <laughs> it actually bothers me. Because I'm, like, looking at, I mean, I guess everyone has, like, their own opinions about things, and... Maybe it just worked completely differently. Maybe I got a bum tube. I mean, there's all kinds of things that, you know, that could be happening. I don't know. But packaging is gorgeous. This is one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried. It's horrible. Horrible. So if anybody, I haven't seen anybody say that they've tried it yet. But yeah, this is the second one they say is sex proof. I didn't test that part. I didn't do that. You know, I didn't do that. <laughs> But I don't even know if I want to. That's the thing. It's like, why would I even wear that? Like, no one's no one's going to want to be like that with me, with that on. It's terrible. 
You know what I mean? Like, it's just, ugh. You will look at my, my husband will look at my eyelashes and go, nope. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on. I did want to show you these. These are back in drugstore price range real quick. These are the, oh, I forgot to get out the, um, the glitters. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Um, good morning, Amanda. I can't wait to see you either. Hold on. Let me get the little pig mini guys out. These guys. Okay. So these right here, these are lip paints and these are from a brand called Tattoo Junkie, I believe. I can't find where it says it. Here we go. Tattoo Junkie. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take these, you put them on, and then you use these, like, metallic or glitter toppers and put them over top. Um, I can tell you right now, these are very, very drying. So if drying is not your thing, you definitely don't want these. Uh, but I do like the effects of these. So I think I might keep, like, them for these. But, um... <laughs> oh, no. Truly lovely. Your, your comment got flagged. <laughs> she says he wants to have sex with a uh, fish smelling face that's what I'm saying that's exactly what I'm saying um, but anyway so this the sugar one the sugar lip effects is very gritty and if it gets in your teeth it's like sand uh, I haven't tried this one yet this one is the I don't know they, and the, the labeling is really bad so I don't know which one goes with which at this point because I've been using them but I have whatever skinny dip and minks um, and they're just okay so far. I'm thinking about doing a full review of these. But I don't know. They, Yeah, Krista says the tattoo junkie dried out her lips so bad. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Steph didn't like the Lash Paradise. Why not? You didn't like it? I find it to be a little clumpy. Is that why? That might be why. Daniel said Manny didn't like the Troublemaker either. I thought he did like it. I thought Manny did like it. I don't know. Maybe I spaced out in the middle of the review and didn't watch the whole thing. I did watch part of his review. Um, but I don't know if I watched the whole thing. Vonna says, I love when you do these live chats. Thank you. Oh, V is here from V Dreamcatcher. Hello, my friends. Uh, Christine's, my friends, my friend, like your two people, my friend. Uh, Christine says, I forget which brand it is, but my favorite mascara right now is the Voluminous Butterfly. I think that's L'Oreal. That's a really good one, too. Uh, but, yeah, those are super drying, so just be aware. Okay, back in the high-end land. Let's talk about what I got at the um, at the Sephora event yesterday. So I did a whole live stream yesterday on this. I'm not going to do uh, too much on this today because I spoke about it yesterday. But this is the Too Faced planner thingy. I'm going to take this off. And the planner is like, it feels very targety. You know, like when you get something, like at Office Depot or Target or something like that. It's very much like that. Looks like this. And then it's got the planner. And it says, don't let today be a waste of makeup. And it's got a calendars and places to write notes and things. I show it more in the live stream video. And then this is the palette. And what we did in the video is we talked about the color selection in here and how whether or not it was similar or the same as previous Too Faced holiday palettes. So if you're curious about that, definitely check out that live stream. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this because I have so much left that I want to, um, to talk to you about. But yeah. And then it also comes with... The Better Than Sex Mascara and then this um, Melted Matte. This is the Melted Matte in the shade, I forgot, uh, Sellout. And it smells like butter, which is weird. But uh, I haven't tried it yet on my lips, but I'll let you know if, uh, if there's anything interesting I want to tell you about that. I'm sure I'll come back and tell you at some point. Maybe says the thought of fish scented makeup is making me gag. Oh my gosh, it smells terrible. It's horrible. Oh my gosh. Uh, Nika wants to say, uh, Fenty Beauty review, please. I have one thing from Fenty Beauty for you today, um, and we can show that next because you mentioned it. This is the only thing I got from Fenty Beauty yesterday because I wasn't sure if it was going to sell out, so I ordered stuff online. I got the foundation, and I got one of the cheap products, and then that's all I got. Um, but I did want to show this to you. Uh, this is the lip gloss. It's a universal gloss. Let me swatch it on my hand. The wand is very fat and very soft. But I'm going to swatch it like right here so you can see the, the color. It, the color is nothing magical. Like it's not a color that I've ever, um, you know, that you've never seen before. There is a little bit, I don't know, I mean, there is a little bit of shimmer in it. It's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if you can see. I don't think you can see it, but there's a tiny bit of shimmer in there. 
very, very tiny, but it's not glitter. Like it's not like one of those, like, like a chunky glitter that's gonna stay on your lips. Let's go ahead and put it on real quick. Let me show you what it looks like on me. Um, I put it on last night. It smells amazing. It smells like, like cherries to me, like cherry scented candy. It is not sticky at all. And, but it's, it's a very nude gloss. I mean, it's going to be universal because it's going to show the color of your lips through it. Um, you know, that's, that's why it's universal. Uh, and I think that if she's only going to come out with lip product, one lip product, I think that was smart of her to do something that's very sheer because that way, you know, it is going to be universal for everybody. Um, it feels very kind of heavy on the lips, a little bit heavy, but it doesn't feel sticky at all. And it doesn't feel overly oily either. Um, it feels very smooth. This is, um, this is Rihanna's brand. Yes. Um, I don't know if she owns the brand though, if she's just like, you know, the person, I don't, I think she might just be like partnering with it is what I heard. I was, um, Jackie, Ina was talking something like that on her Twitter. I didn't quite get what was happening. Um, but yeah, so, so this is just, I mean, it, right now from first impressions from putting it on last night and putting it on today, it doesn't seem to be anything amazing. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. The wand is wonderful. The smell is amazing. It is strong though. So if you're sensitive to scents, you don't want to get this. Um, but I mean, it's pretty. If you're a big gloss person, like my friend Laura from Mrs. Lola Lynn, she loves glosses, so she loves this. Um, but it's definitely not like a super unique kind of thing, at least so far from my first impression of it, from just having worn it just now and then last night. But it is pretty. V said something. What did V say? She said, the trophy white, hi trophy white, hi the trophy wife highlight honestly confuses me a bit, like super gold. I haven't seen anyone that I agree it looks good on, but I, a super good highlight is not my thing. Um, I feel like Trophy Wife looks best on tan to deep skin tones. I think it looks odd on light skin tones. I personally don't like the way that it looks. I saw it on a couple of people that have light skin tones and I did not enjoy the way that it looked. Um, there's, there was one, where's, let me see the, the Fenty Beauty line, because there was one, I swear it looked like Cheetos. It's like, what even is that? Like... At least for like, from my perspective, thinking about what I like in makeup, it looked like straight up Cheetos to me. I don't even know about that. Mm. Let me get into the Sephora app real quick so I can tell you what it is. But yeah, so my Fenty Beauty review, there it will be one, but it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a long while because I have a bunch of stuff that I'm still, I wanna review first and also I haven't gotten it yet. So it's gonna be at least two weeks, at least. Hold on, let me look, Fenty. Let's see, where is it? But it's seriously, it looked like Cheetos. I don't know if it was the trophy wife or not. What is this? That's the blotting papers. Hold on. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Mango chili? Maybe. Maybe that was it. Oh, the, no, trophy wife. Maybe it was trophy wife. I don't know, but somebody swatched it and I was like, oh, that looks terrible. It was like orange. You notice that some people look like they're orange with this foundation. I've heard it oxidizes really bad. I don't know if I got the right shade or not, but I might have to just go back to Sephora and have them shade match me and return it because um, chili mangoes, it must be the chili mango thing. But it, everybody's saying chili mango. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Mm. yeah it, it's, it's a um, beauty CJ. It is, is it expensive? It's like a... I don't know. I think it's reasonable for a Sephora priced brand. It's not like Marc Jacobs level. You know, it's it's in there price wise. I haven't checked price per gram though. I'll have to let you know about that. And yeah, that's my initial thoughts on Fenty. I, I really um, am disappointed at some of the reviews that have come out already. You know, I, I'm disappointed that, you know, giving such strong recommendations for things that they've just tried it bothers me, to be honest. And, you know, I, I don't, I wish people would try products. I think people just want the, the instant gratification of knowing whether a product is good or not, but you can't do that. That's, it's not possible. You know, you want to push the video out. Yeah. You want, everybody wants to know, yeah, get your opinion out, but at least say that it's a first impression, you know, at least call it what it is. And it just, oh. I don't know. It just bothers me because I feel like people are going to go out based on a first impression and they're going to spend their hard earned money on something. And it's based on a very shallow review. I don't know. That's just my personal preferences. 
Megan says, Jen, check the group. I made a post last night about a rep from Fenty talking about how it doesn't oxidize. She says foundations that oxi oxidize turn brown or green. I've never heard of a foundation turning green before. That is weird, Megan. Okay, well, we'll have to check that out. Yeah, She Diary says chili mango is a blush. It's probably the one that I saw swatched. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Uh, another disappointment so far. Not disappointment, but it's... It's slightly disappointment. The I want candy banana pudding. The only the thing that's disappointing me is the scent. I love banana scent, and this does not smell like bananas at all. It smells like sweet makeup. It doesn't. It doesn't even smell anything like bananas. Like I don't know how anybody could say that this smells like bananas. It does. It's not even close. Mm -mm. Um, I only used it once, and I don't think I used it correctly. So I don't have like a a review on that yet. I'm working on it, but. I'm really disappointed. It doesn't smell like bananas. And then I have this. This is the I Want Candy palette. I was thinking about not opening these and just returning them so they can be resold. But then some people in the community were saying how good this palette was. I'll keep it. I'll try it. And honestly, I've worn it twice on my eyes. And I really liked the looks for Too Faced looks. Like, these do not compare to, like, my Juvia's Place and my Colored Rain and uh, Natasha Denona and all those. Like, the ones that I really, really like in the Busy Arts. Like, they're not, they don't compare to that, but I am getting some nice looks out of it, um, and I really like the toppers, or the, not toppers, the, the underneath, the base coats, the base things. Melissa says, I met Candy yesterday at Ulta. Oh, that's so awesome! It does not smell like Nilla Wafers. It doesn't smell like anything, except for makeup. Let me smell again. No. It doesn't smell like Nilla Wafers. Nilla Wafers smell amazing. That doesn't smell like good. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, I'm very, ex you know, the biggest thing that impresses me is these three shades here. Because I feel like Candy took Too Faced out of the box. Too Faced is stuck in this box, you know, for most of their palettes, especially like their holiday palettes. Like they're stuck in this rut. You know, they get something and then they play it to death. I mean, the peaches are played to death. I hope that they move on from the peaches and go on to the strawberries at this point. Because I think the peaches have been out overplayed at this point. But she took them out of their box with these three shades here. I really like this whipped cream shade a lot. It's awesome. I did a look with this this one right here, and I did a look with this one right here. I haven't done anything with this one yet. So review is coming on this. I definitely want to review it. Even though I'm hoping people will still be able to get to get it by the time I can review it. Let me see what the community is saying. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, I don't want to talk smack about other YouTubers specifically, but I'm reading your comments and I get you. Uh, Holly says, not real into the fruit scented makeup unless it's a lip smack or lip gloss. There you go. Uh, Shelby says, Transformers. Yeah, she, Candy did call them Transformers. I don't know if I would call them Transformers, because when I think of a Transformer, I think of something that's going to, like a holographic, not holographic, but like an iridescent lip gloss or like Too Faced Unicorn Tears. Like that I think of as a Transformer. Well, I feel like, I feel like these are more of like a base that gives a little more oomph, a little more pizzazz to the shadows. I don't know if it completely transforms them. Maybe the whipped cream does. The other two, I don't know so much. Um, Abe, uh, 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 I hope Too Faced abandons fruit in general and just makes good quality makeup. I think that it should be both. I think it should be both. All right, so the next thing I got at the sale was the Treasure Box Collector set from Tarte. And I did show this on Snapchat. If you're not following that Snapchat, I think it's Jen Love, J-E-N-L-U-V. Um, if not, try Jen Love's reviews on Snapchat. I've been snap snapping a lot. I'm mostly on Twitter and Snapchat lately. Um, Twitter is Jen Love's reviews. I'm on there all the time. Uh, so anyway, so this is the new Tarte palette for the holidays. And I really like this concept. I think this is a great idea for a gift for someone that doesn't own a lot of makeup because you literally get everything in here. Not everything. Can't say you literally get everything, but you get everything you need as far as powder products for the face. Um, and then you get this little thing here. It says hidden treasures, and inside you have mascara, you have a uh, a nude lip paint, and then you have a pencil eyeliner. This is the sex kitten eyeliner that I've never tried. And then you get a ton of eyeshadows. The eyeshadows in here go from a light day look to like a more smoky look down here. I haven't even touched these yet. Ooh, they use the good formula. Ooh. Seems like they use the good foiled formula for this. Ooh, let's watch a match. Ah. Ooh, that one feels ooh, gritty. A little gritty. A little gritty there. Alright, let us watch. Oh, oh my gosh. 
<gasps> Yay, they use the good formula, not the holiday crap formula. Yay. Tar uh, price for the tort, I think it was $59, $59. So you get, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So four times six, 24 eyeshadows. You get this giant highlighter, two blushes, two bronzers, and then the mascara, the lip, and the eyeliner. I mean, just, whoo! I'm glad they use the good formula, it looks like. I'm excited. Sometimes they just put the junk formula in these things, you know? Um, Shauna, it's 50, I think it's $59. But yeah, I mean, nice. Let's do this highlighter real quick. Let's see what's going on for this baby. Because this could be like a deal breaker for people that don't want a super bright highlighter. This is not a super poppin' highlighter. It looks like it'll be a pop, but not crazy pop. Um, but yeah, that's nice. Very cool. And it looks like they've definitely taken into consideration deeper skin tones over here. This one has some shimmer in it, though. This one's matte. These two are matte. Let me see if they have names on the anywhere. On the anywhere. <laughs> are there names on the anywhere? I don't think there's names on the anywhere. No, nope. I think they just put some colors in here. It just says high, eyeliner, blush, bronzer, highlighter, lipstick. Oh, no, there are names. So the, let's see if I can find. They have names on, are there names on the paint? No. How are we supposed to know what the, oh, no, there are names. There's names for the eyeshadows. Utopia, Cloud9, Bizarre, All, Trinket. Tails, Whirl, Scenic. What's the names on the blushes? See if it's like anything. These are all eyeshadow ingredients. Hold on a second. Okay, Perk. Amazonian Clay Blush and Perk. Wish is another blush. Navigate is a bronzer. And Excursion is the other bronzer. And then the Wanderlust Amazonian Clay Highlighter. So that is the one that I think, no. I was going to say, I thought that was the one that was in the store, but that one's not. It's the, um, that's a Rainforest of the Sea one. And then Sex Kitten Eyeliner, and then the Lights Camera Lashes, 4-in-1 Mascara, and the Grand Tardis Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint. Okay. So now we know, in case you guys know those shade names, I don't know those. But, yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. I definitely need to play with it. I just swatched it for the first time just now, so I can't give you anything. But um, Alyssa says that's one bulky palette. Yes, but if this is your entire makeup collection, like this is something I would get for my mom because this is something she could just put in a drawer and this is this is like all she would own. <laughs> like I give her stuff, but she she only, she goes through, she didn't like to have a ton of stuff, you know, but if this is like adding to your collection and you're just gonna use this every once in a while, I can, I agree. Uh, Made in China, let's see. Um... Eyeshadow, blush, highlighter, bronzer, and lipstick made in the USA. Eyeliner made in China. Mascara manufactured in Italy. Assembled in Taiwan. Distributed from New York. So there you go. So the eyeliner was made in China. Uh, Mercedes says, my birthday is in November and I will be right with Jen. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Can I smell it? Cindy wants to know. Okay, I'll take it back out and smell it. We'll spend some time with this one. Because this is one that, that um, it should be coming out. Hopefully it's Sephora soon. It has a little bit of that vanilla scent. But it's not overpowering. It's not overpowering. Let me see if it says that it's got the, yeah, vanilla. It's got the vanilla in it. But it doesn't smell super strong. Like when I opened up the Tardis Pro palette for the first time, it was like that waft of scent. I didn't smell that from this. It wasn't super strong, but it might vary. You know, they, they may be stronger in some than others, but I didn't really smell it too much. Um, but it definitely has the scent. Definitely has the scent. Christine says, birthday gift choices at Sephora, either moisturizer or tart lip paint and blush. So obviously I went with tart. Nice. Nice. I went with tart too. I did too for my birthday gift. Um, Tony says, that's why the shadows are the right formula because they're, they heard people's complaints about the irregularities and made them here. But yeah, I mean, I think that's really smart. Um, oh, Yesenia says, Generation Beauty, use code GBSPANKY, $90, $99 tickets, $69 off. Yes, and I think that all of the influencers have their, all the Ipsy creators all have theirs. So I think there's a GB Gabriel and a GB Cindy. I think they all have their own. So if you want it for $99, we should have put that in the show. I forgot about that. Thank you, Yesenia, for that. 
Yeah, intro to makeup rose, absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about some of this other stuff because we've got 20 minutes left. This I also picked up just as an impulse buy. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Glimmerdale Liquid Lipstick. Um, they were all really bold shades that were completely out of my comfort zone, except for this one. This one is in the shade Thunderstruck, and it's the nude. And I'll swatch it here for you, and then we'll put it on the lips, because I haven't even put it on my lips yet. We'll put it on the lips, and then I'll wipe it off, because I know it's going to freak me out a little bit. It's very orange in my light. It looked more champagne in the store, but it looks more peachy orange here. Weird. Okay, let's try it on. And we have a mirror out of nowhere. All right, let's try it. I guess I should wipe off Rihanna. Bye, Rihanna. Let's wipe you off before we put on the Kat Von D. All right, I'm still wearing my pajamas. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have time. Like I slept in as late as I possibly could today. All right. Let's see if I can wipe some of this off my hand. Oh my goodness, these Wet and Wilds are not coming off. All right, let's dip in real good. Dip it real good. It's gonna look insane. It's definitely sheer. Well, they say you can use it as a topper. And that's what I was planning on using it for anyway. It's kind of weird. Weird. Krista says, you, Jen, you never trust its store lighting. You are so right. <laughs> that was really weird on me right now. But it's cool. There's no, like, real... Sh I was hoping there was going to be, like, a little bit of a shift to it. Alyssa likes the song. Singing is fun. You, which, make sure you wait until the end of What's Been Makeup Today. There's a little uh, surprise there. It's drying down. I want to see how it feels as it dries down. It's getting a little more stiff as it dries down. Mercedes says the hurricanes got me freaking out. Stay safe, please. I was in a 100 mile an hour hurricane in um, in Orlando, when, or not Orlando, but like just outside Orlando one year, and it was scary. Uh, and it's, it was only 100 compared to some of the wins that people are getting. Um, Maddie says, I don't care for that lip, but you do you, Jen. And the thing is, is right now, it doesn't look good because of what I'm wearing. But I think that with the right outfit, or if I use it as a topper, it could definitely work. There is a little bit of a stick to it. It's coming off of my lips. Let me see. Let me put on this hand. It's not coming off. So that's good uh, that it's not coming off, but it's definitely weird. You know what it reminds me of is 1970s. Like it reminds me of um, uh, like Goldie Hawn on that show where they did the the 70s and she's dancing and she's wearing skimpy clothes and she laughed really obnoxiously what was that show called that's what it reminds me of something she would have worn like that nude 1970s nude color what was that you did the thing i can't remember what the show was called i know somebody's gonna know all right i'm gonna try to uh take this off but it does feel a little bit heavy but not so um it was a tv show it feels a little bit heavy but it's not terrible laugh in thank you april I never actually watched Laughing, but I watched reruns of Laughing. Let me see if I can get it off. This is going to be a challenge. Oh my gosh, I have glitter all over my chin now. This was not a good idea. Do I have makeup remover in here? Oh, I've got some Bioderma. We can try that. Let's see if I can get this off now. Um, drying down but shang shiny, yes. Well, because it's got glitter in it. That 70s show? No, not that 70s show. Like a real 70s show. With Goldie Hawn. When like Goldie Hawn was like in her 20s. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Don't go out to eat with this. Don't go out to eat. Wipe your mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, popping in and out of doors alley. Exactly. Austin Powers. Yes. That's a classic. Classic. All right, let me see if I can get more of the socks. because I look ridiculous. I do have a few more things to show you. We got 15 minutes, and I have a few more things. Yeah, I have a lot to show you, actually, still. Oh, my gosh. I have, like, glitter mustache. <laughs> I might have to, like, actually wash my face at some point. Let's try one more dip, because I don't want to spend forever washing my, like, wiping on my face. I have more to show you. 
You can't do that on television. Oh my gosh, that show was my addiction. My grandma had cable. We didn't have cable. We didn't have money for cable, but my grandma did. So whenever, whenever my grandma's house, I got to watch You Can't Do That on television. I would always go straight to the television set to see when it came on. And for a while, there was no, like, TV guide. Like, you had to buy, like, a TV guide in order to know what was on television at what time. So I would just randomly, every half an hour, go to the television set and check and see if You Can't Do That on television was on. I had a crush on... Sorry, with an A. Aster or something like that. I can't remember what his name was. But I had a huge crush on one of the characters on that show. I know. And the slime... Oh, my God. He's so good. Latina says, Julio had to leave. He works at the church. And there is this homeless man that needs shelter, and he's going to look for him. Oh, my gosh. Julio, stay safe. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me this. Julio, stay safe. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, let me show you a couple more things. I know I might still have some glitter going on on my face, but it's like I don't want to spend forever wiping it off. You guys are just going to have to bear with me on that one. So another thing, Nancy was kind enough to send me a couple of things from Woosh Beauty, which was so nice of her. Uh, where's the eyeliner thing? So I haven't tried this one yet, but I tried the eyeliner, and now I don't see where I put it. The eyeliner wheel. The, I really like the eyeliner wheel. The eyeliner wheel is cool. Um, it's not pokey. Like, I saw the people do reviews of the MAC one, and it looked like it was pokey. And this one is not pokey. It's very smooth. But it looks like it fell somewhere. I just hit it. Oh, there it is. It was underneath my mirror. So let me show you the wheel. It's got, like, product on it because I was using it. But it's very smooth. I know Sabrina did a review of these, but I didn't, um, I didn't watch her review yet. I need to get another, um, another gel liner because I went to go use my Juvia's Place liners and they had dried out. One of them wasn't closed all the way, but the other one was, and it was dried out. I was like, no, my perfect Juvia's Place that never disappoints me. My eyeliners are dried out. I was so disappointed. So Julio is a good man. Julio is amazing. Um, but yeah, so this seems really, really cool. It's definitely not for doing wings, though, I don't think. I think that would be really hard to do a wing because it's it's not pointy enough for the flick. You know, it's it's one length, and that's what makes it hard to do the wing. You could do, like, a little wing and then finish it up with a, um, with a pen, but this is going to be more, or with this, you could finish it up with, uh, with this brush here. But um, yeah, but I really like this so far. I'm really enjoying it. And then this is the eye stamper. I haven't tried this yet. But Sabrina did a full review, and I'm planning on doing a review, too, if I can get to it. Let me open it up and show you. So the idea with this is you're supposed to be able to make that triangle on the outside of your eye, like, super easy. I'm going to show you, like, the, the dimension of it. Emily says her two-year-old loves my glasses. Thank you. That's so nice. So, so you're supposed to kind of do this with it. It's very hard. It's very stiff. And then you've got this one here, which you can kind of go like this. Yesenia wants me to review the NYX Elements palettes. I want them all too. I want them all too. I'm hoping NYX will send them to me. That would be amazing. I don't know if they would though. But yeah, so this is this big. If you've got little tiny eyes, this might not work because it's big. But I would like to review them. I have my eyes on the Alyssa Ashley one just because I adore her. I love her. Pink Hornet says Sabrina is another underrated channel. Totally agree. Love me some Sabrina. So, yeah, so that's the Wush Beauty stuff. I don't know if anybody else has tried it, but I would love to know. Um, I heard they're expensive. Yeah, they're like $20 or $30 a piece. These, oh, you, you're talking about the NYX palettes? Yeah, they're $30 each. I know, I know. But that's why I think it's important to have some really good solid reviews on them so you know whether it's worth it or not. Yeah, look. Tam says, Jen, if you ever want to get rid of that sweater, I live in Canada, I'll pay the shipping. Oh, this is my Yellowstone sweater. I got this when I was in Yellowstone two years ago, and I love this sweater, so I think I'm going to keep it. But if I ever decide, Tam, it's going straight to you. Straight to you. Um, so anyway, yeah, these are these are pricey, too, which I was surprised because they don't seem to be of, like, super high quality. You know what I mean? Like, they're not, like, fancy or anything. Like, they're, they seem like they probably you know, only cost maybe a few dollars to make, but they're quite expensive. I guess the innovation is what you're paying for. Oh, no. One thing I wanted to show you that I've been trying that Benefit had sent me that I really like a lot, that I was very surprised. Um, <laughs> Monique wants me to acknowledge all September birthdays. If you have a birthday in September, I wish you the happy, happiest birthday. If you had a birthday in August, 
or in July or June or any month before that, happy birthday to you too because I totally missed it. And you're amazing and you deserve a happy birthday. And I hope you had a good one. So if you have a birthday in September, you are awesome. Have a great day. How was that? How did I do? Did I do good? I hope so. Oh, Christina's leaving. Bye, Christina Ann. Sad I have to go. I have to make breakfast for my kiddos and get to the gym. Oh, girlfriend, rock it out of the gym. Rock it out of the gym. Get it, girl. All right, so anyway, Benefit had sent this to me, and I hadn't tried it at first. I actually really like this. This is the highbrow. It's a highlighting crayon. There's something about the texture of this and the way that it blends out that is just beautiful. It's really nice. Let me see if I can get a run out of arm space on this side. I don't know if you can see it, but... It's very opaque, and even though it looks like it's like similar to my skin tone, I can see this working for many skin tones. It does, that totally didn't do it justice. It looks much better on the eyes, but it's just a way to um, to really highlight the brow bone, and I'm really enjoying this. I'm surprised at how much I enjoy it, because I've tried products like this before and just kind of been like, okay. But this one I really like a lot. Um, oh, Pink Horn says, fake sincerity, frightening. Well, I, I am sincere, though. I know it sounded a little, hey, you know, I, I know it sounded like that. I didn't mean it like that. I do wish everybody a very happy birthday. I gotta remember, I didn't get a lot of sleep either. I hope nobody took that as me being like, yeah, right, don't have a happy, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just being, I was just trying to be silly. Maybe I failed, but just so you know, I do really, truly wish you a happy birthday. Is it Steph's birthday? Happy birthday to Steph. Um, next thing, Nancy was kind enough to send me as well. These are the Smashbox Ombre lipsticks. So the idea behind these is they've got three colors and you are supposed to kind of draw them on and it's supposed to give you an automatic ombre lip. The big problem with these that I'm noticing is when you apply, like this side makes sense, but this side you have to kind of go like this and go like backwards. So I almost wish that they had made them flat so that they wouldn't be all, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm liking the purple one better than the nude because you can see the ombre better. But it's really pretty. Let me do a little swatch on the side of my hand so you can see the color swipe. Can you see that? I'm kind of lean over so you can see. But isn't that pretty? And that's the way it ends up on your lips. But as soon as you kind of melt your, um, your lips together, they do blend. But I think it looks nice. I really like the way this one looks. This one is a little bit mushier as far as, this is the nude one. It's a little mushier as far as the, um, let me see if I can find a better place to swatch. The colors aren't as different. So this one I feel like blends a little bit better together. Dreama says, yeah, I'm not feeling those lipsticks. What are they thinking sometimes, I wonder? Yeah, I think that it's one of those things that they're trying to do something different and unique, but I feel like doing an actual ombre lip is not that hard. Like I have a tutorial of how I do my ombre lips if you're curious how I do them. Um, but they, you know, you wanna do something different. You want, and people are always trying to do something different and no one else has done. Uh, and I think that they did a nice job of trying, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the price for them. Uh, they're very hydrating. They feel really good on the lips. They're very nice lipstick. Uh, I didn't I didn't wear the purple one for very long, so I can't tell you as far as lasting power on the purple one. But the nude one, the lasting power was decent. It faded very nicely. But, you know, typical lipstick wear. Nothing amazing. Shabby Box says that um, Laneige has one, some of those too. Lipsticks, like, I think I pronounced that right. That's one of those brands I never know how to pronounce. But they have some too. Nice. Very cool. Good to know. Um, April says, looks like the 90s with the dark lip liner and nude lips. Well, it, it ends up blending together pretty well. So it ends up not looking so, um, ends up not looking so, like, you know, with the dark and the light. You know what I mean? Uh, what is cat? You said, uh, they are um, so thick and awkward to apply. Pretty, but you need to clean up around the lip. Yes, totally agree. And that was hard too because they 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 smeared. So you have to be really careful how you um, clean up. Lynn says YouTube unsubscribed her. Oh no, you know I've had a lot of people tell me that YouTube's been unsubscribing. People um, refresh my subscription, didn't see you, so I subscribed again. I am so glad you're back. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, what else? Okay, this is the last thing that Nancy had sent that I have not tried yet. This just came in the mail. This is the Glossier Wowder, and I would love to know your opinions on this. I haven't tried it. Nancy loves it, and I haven't tried it, and I'm so excited to try this. Pull this. Whoa. 
I know nothing about this because I don't I don't watch those fancy schmancy YouTube reviews. <laughs> There's a little bit of a like a powdery scent. Like I know it's hard to it doesn't smell especially makeup y, that's not the right thing. But like a fresh light powder. Not a baby powder, but close in that family. But lighter than that, not as strong of a specific baby powder scent, but similar to that, in the same family as baby powder. So look, it's got this cushion in here. Look at that. I've never seen this product. I've never seen it, and I know that's terrible that I've never seen it, but I've never seen it before, but Nancy swears by it. It's so weird, it's got like a trampoline in the middle of it. Dreamer says, I almost ordered it yesterday, nice. What are the ingredients in the powder? Let's look. Let me, let me put this on my hand real quick, I just wanna feel the way it feels. Feels very soft. And I think it's a translucent. So if you're deeper, I think this one will probably work as far as from my first impression. Okay, let's see. Ingredients, mica, silica, boron nitride, kaolin. So nothing that crazy. The silica is gonna give it that slip. Mica is the pigment. Boron nitride, I forget what that does. Kaolin is a clay. There's diamond powder in this, holy moly. Mm, whoa, I wonder what that does. There's no shine in it, so it's not like a shine like a diamond kind of thing. V says, Jen, do you watch Leanne says she recently bought it and reviewed it. Wasn't sent for PR. I will have to, I used to be subscribed to Leanne and then I think I unsubscribed. I don't know why. She seems very nice. I don't know, I just wasn't finding myself watching her videos. Um, Emily says, I really, really want to try that wowder. I'm so happy you're trying it, Jen. Oh, good. I'm so glad. See, this is why I wanted to show you because I don't know anything about this. Tab is like, what? No saccharin? No, that's just Too Faced, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's good to know because I don't know anything about this. I haven't watched reviews on it. Like, I don't know. Nancy says, that's expensive with diamonds. I know, right? It's got diamond powder in it. That's crazy. Dimethicone. Yeah, and a couple of pigments. But there really aren't a lot of ingredients in this. And there are a couple of ingredients that I'm not, like, off the top of my head familiar with. Like, I've seen them before, but off the top of my head, I don't know what they are. But it is a mica-based product. Mica and silica. So, okay, good to know that everybody's interested in this, so I will have to try that. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Was that it? I think that was everything I wanted to show you. We made it through everything. And I've got three minutes left. Yeah, everybody really wants to hear about the Wilder. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, thanks, Nancy. Now I get to review it. I really, I mean, I didn't even realize it was like a thing. Maybe you press it enough, you'll get a diamond. Maybe. Just keep bouncing my finger on the trampoline. Boing, 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 boing. I don't want to waste too much product because that's expensive. Jackie Ina gave it a great review. Awesome. I love Jackie Ina. I know everyone has their favorite YouTubers and stuff, but I really like Jackie Ina. I don't know how much it is because Nancy bought it. I have no idea. I don't know. I think it's expensive though because it's glossy. Let's look it up. Wow, glossier. It is dun 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 dun. Twenty-two dollars. That's it. I thought it was more than that. Say like twenty-two dollars. Is that right? I thought it was. It's only twenty-two dollars. I thought it was like a $50 product or something. That's cool, that's great. Like it's not like obnoxiously expensive, that's cool. Um, there are three colors, yes. The Wilder has a light, a medium, and a deep. And I don't think that um, it lets me flip over anymore to show you, but there's a light, a medium, and a deep. Okay, cool, nice. And there is a brush, and you know what? I left the brush downstairs, it does come with a brush. And it says, it's not a powder, it's wowder. For non-dewy days, wowder will cut, shine, blur the appearance of pores, set makeup, look like skin. Wowder won't leave a chalky film, cake into fine lines, flatten skin texture, or announce its presence in photographs. No camera flashback. In three sheer, glowy, adaptable shades because no skin tone is HD white. Pair with angelically soft wowder brush for an all-over targeted application. So I did, she did get the, um, the wowder brush for me. So you save $7 if you get it with the wowder brush. And the Wowder brush is, dun, 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 load it up. it's got a little spitty planet. Oh, the brush is, looks like it's $35. Whoa. Okay, so the brush is 35 
and it's 22 plus 35, so that's 52 minus the 7 is 45. So 45 for the powder and the brush, which, I mean, it's expensive, but it's not like, it doesn't seem like it's seriously super overpriced. Mine is the light one, I'm assuming. I would imagine, because it's pretty light. It doesn't say, oh, light medium is what it says. Light medium. Um, so what else? What else do we want to talk about before we go? I got just like one minute, one to two minutes left. Uh, Carrie Bailey says, thank you for always being so thorough, honest, and down to earth and relatable and for taking your time to do all this for your viewers. You'll always be my top three favorite and trusted YouTubers. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Yes, I do things for you guys, but I also do it because I love it. You know, like it's, it's, uh, yeah, I want to put effort in, you know, to give you guys a great review and I want to put effort in to, you know, make sure that you guys are taken care of. But I also do it because I love researching ingredients and I love dig digging deep and, and being thorough. Like it makes me happy to do it. So part of it is selfish that I love it. The other piece that she just said was about being like down to earth and relatable. I think some people really do take themselves way too seriously. Like overall, like I've met like my first celebrities that I've that I met were like when I was like 20 years old and I was always a person. I never asked for autographs. I never uh, took pictures with them, you know, or at least. Well, that's not never. I can't say never, but it wasn't like a thing for me to want to take pictures with celebrities because I really feel like, you know, we're all just people. And that's not going to change. Like, I'm never going to change in that way because I, it's so deeply ingrained in me to not think that some people are better than others. And it annoys me to no end when people have that superiority complex because they're really beautiful or they have a big following or they have a high paying job or, you know, whatever it is. It drives me bonkers. And it is like in my soul how much I hate that. So you can count on the fact that I am never going to be like a stuck up, like ever. It doesn't matter what size channel I have. It doesn't matter anything. Like I, I won't, I'm always going to be me because I don't take it that seriously. I don't feel like what happens to me on social media is me. You know what I mean? Like the, the outside things, like how many followers you have does not impact who you are as a person. It doesn't make you a better person. It just means that a lot of people happen to enjoy what you're doing, which is great, but that doesn't make you better, you know? Like, I'm, that's so ingrained in me, and I, ugh, ugh, drives me bonkers. So anyway, so that was what I wanted to say about that. Mega Pemis says, hello, my friend. You are very down to earth, and I always appreciate that in you. That's why I'll always support you. Thank you so much. And if you ever feel like, for some reason, I'm lifting off the ground, just tell me. Tell me, like, girl, you need to bring it back down. I don't think it's going to happen, but never say never. But please bring me back down because I never want to be like that. Aspen says, Jen, we're all dying to know what you're, how your mom did yesterday. My mom lost the cooking contest yesterday. I talked about that in my live stream. My mom lost. It was a mushroom festival in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. My mom lost. She um, forgot it and a, the garnish ingredient, um, so she lost. But the last contest she was in, she rocked it, and she blew everybody away, and she won. So, and then she's got one coming up. It's an oyster cook-off in Maryland. And then she's got the National Food Championship she's going to. So she's got other contests, but yeah, she didn't do that, that good. She was really mad at herself. Um, but I love her. I love her. She's, she's amazing. She's, she's a cooking contest queen. That's her thing. Um, she's in like a whole cooking contest community. She keeps trying to get me to quit YouTube to do cooking contests, which is kind of funny. I could tell her now. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jen says, Jen, it, I can say that in truth that Jen is a real person. I have met her. Yes, we, I have met you. I gave you lots of hugs. Yep, there's video evidence that I've met Indy Kitty one, Jen. Hot mess mom, I know you're just wonderful. I love watching you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was sad she didn't win because it, she made a mistake. And I think that's the hardest loss is when you know that you could have done something to make it better and you didn't for whatever reason. So it kind of stinks, but there's so many other contests. She's always in cooking contests all the time. Um, Aspen says, that's okay. So awesome for her to even enter and put herself out there. Yeah. I mean, she, that's her thing is she enters cooking contests. My mom was in the Pillsbury Bake Off and was actually in the top six of the Pillsbury Bake Off one year. Um, and everybody said she should have won. She was like this close to a million dollars. My mother, like this close. So close. Uh, Lynn says, if you tried Juice Beauty, I have tried some products from them. I'm actually using their eye cream right now. And I love the eye cream. I absolutely love it. It's going to be part of my best damn beauty review. 
Um, I'm going to show you the other product to use, and one of them is the eye cream from Juice Beauty. I'm really enjoying it. Susan says, new subscriber, so happy to find a real channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Um, Mary says, heading to Boston and Maine next month. So excited. My mo mom and sister trip. Oh, nice. My mom has mild case of dementia, and she has always wanted to see fall foliage. Oh, that's awesome. I hope you have a great trip. Monique says, thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I'm going to continue to celebrate the Maine every weekend, as you should, Monique. As you should. Tabitha says, tell your mom to do YouTube. I have. I've told her to try to start a cooking channel, but... She tried a little bit. She does like entry, like video entries sometimes. And um, <clears throat> I thought she was really cute in her videos that she made. I, you know, I have an old video with my mom where we did a skincare review together, where she tested it and I tested it and we showed our results. She saw more results than I did. This was like three or four years ago. You look back far enough, you can, you can find it. But it's, it's really old. It's like three, four years ago I did a video with my mom. Cook with her and then do her makeup. There you go. She can make some food. That'd be awesome. I love my mom. You guys would love her. She is such a sweetheart. She's like the nicest person. Like, you know, those people when you meet and you're like, this person's so nice. Like, that's my mom. My mom is so nice. Um, oh, my battery's about to go to bed. It says my go to bed, go to sleep. I need to go to bed. Mac will sleep soon unless plugged into a power outlet. So I should probably pop, pop off of here. Um, Beauty Song says, I like the Juice Beauty lip gloss I got from Baku Charm. Yeah, they have nice glosses. I, I personally wouldn't buy them, like, outright because they're a little bit pricey for what they are. But I do enjoy them when I get them with the thing, with the thing, with the boxy charm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop off of here. But I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I look a hot mess. I just looked over to what I look like. I am shiny. My hair is crazy. And girl or boy or man or woman. I'm a mess. But I'm going to go take care of my kid. And I don't know what we're going to do today. We're doing some family stuff today. My son and my son. My husband and my daughter are at yoga. When they get back, we might do like the Maryland Renaissance Fair or something. Do something fun. It'd be awesome. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here in live chat. I appreciate you so very much. And we will see you here next week. Next week, we, we should be having chat next week, 10 a.m. And then the next week, there won't be a WhatsApp and Makeup. There won't be a chat. And then the next week should be the 5 p.m. chat and WhatsApp and Makeup. Just one weekend off. Just one. Um, but yeah, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you. Well, not rest of your week. The week is just starting. Goodness. Oh, my gosh. I'm a mess. I need to get some sleep. I will talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.